Yo, what's going on, guys? Nashra here, back with another Be a Pro with Rostislav Nashra. Our last episode was absolute madness from start to finish. We have again received our fifth concussion. And Rostislav Nashrov is down again. Rusty was down and out, but has come back to keep our win streak alive. Looking at the calendar, we were looking for a trade at the beginning of February, but here we are at the end of February on trade deadline day on a seven game win streak. It is crazy how quick things can change. Today, we will find out all the madness that happened on trade deadline by hitting this advanced day button. The trades are now done. No more moves can be made. And let's see where the top players are sitting. Here are your current point leaders in the NHL. Patrick Kane has 87 points in 46 games. Jack Eichel, Stammer, Cooch, Giroux. Wait, all right. All these players are on their proper teams. The only person that appears to be off here in the top 10 is Alexander Ovechkin, who for some reason move to the Florida Panthers. I don't know when that happened, why it happened, how it went down. And of course, here's our boy Rusty sitting at 62 points in 62 games, sitting at exactly a point per game. Let's try to keep that going through the rest of this episode. It is now official. Rusty is an LA king. There's no more demanding trades. There's no more yelling at management. There's no more not going to the museum with Dowdy. We have got to be a good team player. We've got to catch some dubs and we have to make it to the playoffs. And how do we get to the playoffs? It all starts right here, right now. I want to set an NHL record for the longest win streak. We are currently sitting at seven. This is another good East opponent. We've been on a bit of a road tour here on the East. What is happening down in the corner? Holy, what a pile up! I thought there were gonna be three guys dropping the gloves. No one drops the gloves and we still have some big hits going down. All right, this is going to be a heated battle. We've got Rusty one-handing referee. That's an, that's an interference with Slavin. Dude, I did not expect the Hurricanes to be our rivals, but this is literally looking like a rivalry matchup so far. We got Rusty cutting in. What a move from Rusty. Back door. Ooh. Coach apparently not too happy with Rusty's performance there on shift number one. For some reason, we have not been put out for 10 straight minutes. And here comes Rusty. It's time... I was going to say it's time to prove the coach we made a mistake, but apparently he's right. That's my bad, boys. That's my bad. We're killing around once. Here comes Rusty. Rusty with the little bit of space. Come on, they're not, they're not really getting aggressive on Rusty. Rusty, top left. Ooh, trying to find that top left corner. We are buzzing today. Slavin, go ahead and sit down, buddy. Here we go. The dream team is... I swear, if I get gloved one more time, dude, I am shooting blocker side. That's the end of the first... Dude, I've touched the puck for a total of 30 seconds. And uh, the Hurricanes have somehow scored a goal at some point in that seven minutes as well. Rusty being short shifted by the coach has sat most of this period out. And we've got to come out and make a splash here in the second. Rusty is scoring on his next shot. Guaranteed. You heard it here first. I said it in the last episode and I'll say it again. This is no joke. This is now Stanley Cup's game seven. Okay. We are coming out here and putting on an absolute clinic. I'm going to work it to my points, and I'm going... Oh, little redirect there. Honestly, don't mind that shot. Oh, great. Yeah, coach. Come tell me to put a goal in. I'll do all the work like I always do. Why don't you go tell Gavrikov or Dowdy to go out there and score a goal instead of going to the museum for once? Come on, coach. Yep. Yep. Keep the net, Kobe! This guy literally never hits those mid slaughters. All right, with how this is currently going, we are going to run out of time very, very quickly. It is time to turn this game around starting now. Calling for it. And I am absolutely throwing. And that's on me, boys. That is on me. We're going to go to the box for two minutes. I, I guarantee you. The boys are coming through with the kill right now. Guaranteed. Okay. The score has just jumped up to 2-1. We got one goal from both sides. That's fine with me. We just got to score one. We'll tie this thing up, and then we do not go down the rest of this game. Nice little bump there. All right, let's go. To Foley. Foley with a beautiful feed. Rusty on break. Rusty. Datu. Flip. No! What? Dude, that puck was going in the net. I think I just got baseball batted on a Datsu flip. I have never seen anything like that. Let's take another look at this and see what happened. Rusty comes in. Oh my. 
That is one of the most incredible defensive plays that I have ever seen in this game. A no-look backhanded baseball bat to keep the Datsuk flip from going into the net. You have got to be kidding me. Slavin, go ahead and sit down, buddy. You want to drop the gloves, Slav? Oh, he tried to chase me around. He's chasing me around the ring. Let's go. He's so rattled. Rusty just runs away without going to the box in, in a game like this. Are you kidding me? Okay, seven seconds. We have time to get up the ice. This is a smart play from... Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't let them shoot this. Don't let them shoot this. Don't let them shoot this, dude. I just had a feeling. Right when I saw them win that draw, I knew that bad things were going to happen. He wins it clean back, makes his way up the boards. Our defense is absolutely lost. Jonathan Quick absolutely lost as well. And a good finish there in front. We are now down two. Going into the third period, a seven-game win streak on the line. Could this be the day that it leaves us we will find out i'm a little bit rattled right now uh this game easily could be 2-2 we had our datsu flip attempt they had a backhand no look baseball bat to stop it and then they score with seven seconds left on a neutral zone face off bit unfortunate but we're gonna bounce back here in period number three here we go it is time to put the team on our back and here comes rusty in the corner we are not passing this puck away we're just gonna do work Wait for them to overcommit and then take it to the front of the net all day long. Great little tie up there from Kopi. Will we come out with the puck? We do. Here we go. Curling around. Top left. No. Rusty. Slow to get up. But he is up. He has survived another big hit. I thought that was going to be his sixth concussion of the season. It is not. Rusty. Still up. Still buzzing. To fully bury that. Okay, we have to be smart. Let's go ahead and get off the ice. Four to one with eight minutes and 28 seconds on the clock. This is very, very quickly starting to get out of reach. Their def Dude, their defense is insane. Are you guys seeing these poke checks? It's like back to back to back. Perfect pokes, no trips. They come down and get good shots. There's Dowdy with a beautiful pass. We put it between our legs. Back door. None of our passes are getting through today either, man. Just nothing's going our way right now. Let's see if we can get one goal here and try to turn this thing around. I'm sitting mid-slot. Just a beautiful poke check. Hey, you guys know what we do here. We never give up. Let's start buzzing a little bit here, boys. Nice little pass to Kopi. Another beautiful poke check. These guys literally do not miss. Nice. We just cannot catch a break, dude. Is Coach going to pull us off? He does. Four minutes on the clock. That very well could be... Our final shift of the game, and it looks like it is. A final score of five to one. Absolute tragedy has struck here in the first game of this episode. We literally could not get anything going. I don't know what was going through Coach's head. He pulled Rusty off the ice. We got two shifts in the first period, two shifts in the second period, and now we have to watch the dumb limbo going on in Carolina. What an absolute joke. The LA Kings have been defeated. The win streak has come to an end. And just after trade deadline, we have sadness in the LA Kings organization. But you know what? This isn't the end of the world. The good news is we are in a good spot. We have made our way towards the top of the Pacific Division. And we still have an opportunity to come out here, put on a show, and make it to the playoffs. Let's get back into this thing in the next game. Keep this thing rolling and catch a W to end this episode. Don't worry, I won't let this lead last long, <laughs> said Rusty, after the game's over and after we have just taken our big L. Rusty's a little bit concussed. He's a little bit rattled. Um, so don't blame it on him, okay? He's having some medical issues, let's be honest. It's the first time I've seen the boys come in after an L in a long time, dude. In a long time. That is a tough, tough loss. And it wasn't like it was even close, right? We just came wow, out completely flat. Long. What are you going to do? That's a tough L. Looking at the standings here in the Pacific Division, the LA Kings are still sitting in second. And there is a little bit of separation too. You remember last episode, literally every single team in this division was sitting within two points of each other. Now we have started to pull away. We've got four points over the Oilers, four points over the Coyotes. And we are tied here with the Ducks. Not in a bad spot at all. A game less played. And we hop in 
in here. We'll beat the Dallas Stars and call it a day. Here we are back in LA. I just realized, wow, this is tragic. I just realized I forgot to put the purple jerseys on. So we are gonna have to use the regular home unis. I know we usually take it out every time we wear these, but will today be different? Let's find out. Okay, they have Curtis McElhaney in that, boys. That is all we have to deal with. Uh, oh my gosh, what a start for Rusty. Rusty, put on the wheels. Rusty oh. beat Klinberg. <gasps> oh my, what is going on this episode, dude? Dude, shout out to Rusty, though. He was absolutely... What a tip. He was absolutely wheeling out there on that first run. Okay, this game so far is feeling much, much better than game number one. We literally have six shots on net in our first shift, and Coach is still keeping us out there. Beautiful wins from Kobe. Okay. Nice shot. These guys have literally not gotten the puck out of the zone once. They are just absolutely rattled. Here comes Rust down Klingberg. Not quite there. All right, first shift, absolute W. If we continue to play like this, we are... There is no way we are losing this game. And you take Rusty off the ice. And what happens? Goal goes into the net. 1-0 Dallas Stars. Let's go here, boys. Foley with wheels to Foley. Dangling. Nice move for to Foley. I'm going to go back door. Back to Kopi. Kopi missed it. Dude, what is happening? These are backdoor feet. These are guaranteed goals in any other game. All right, Rusty with a little bit of wheels. Let's, let's, let's put on a little clinic here, Rust. Put on a little clinic. Gavrikov's throwing the puck away for no reason. I didn't even call for that puck. And they're going to come down here and bury this. Okay, nice save. It's every single game, dude. I, I swear, coach. Make somebody else make a promise to you for once, man. Dang, that's a big hit. We got one man down. We're going to try to get... Ah, uh, he's, he's back up. We got... Wait. Oh, I was going to say, dude. Why did Gavi trip him, though? I came down to body him. And he tripped him at the exact same time. That's the most pointless trip I have ever seen in my life from Gavi. Luckily, we've killed off Gavrikov's terrible penalty. Here comes Rusty. No, I knew I was going to get bodied there. I had to make a move. Dude, we are, we are just getting destroyed this episode. I don't know what has happened. Getting five good shots on net. They get one opportunity up the ice. Beautiful pass, beautiful shot. It goes in every single time. There's a lesson to be learned here, you know? You can't get comfortable. Yeah, we were streaking. We, start, we started to get a little bit cocked. What? What was that hit, dude? Rusty, are you kidding me? That's the lightest hit I've ever seen. I don't even think I had the puck. I think I got bumped. It wasn't even a hit. It was a slight bump from behind. And Rusty goes to the lot. Brandon Saad. What a goal from the kid. Let's go. I have got to go watch that replay. I don't even think... Like, I, I don't even think that was a vicious play. Usually we call that assault with a deadly weapon. And we're asking for the cops to come and arrest people. But that was the lightest hit I've ever seen in this game, dude. No. All right, here is Rusty. He's entering the zone. I was wrong about that. He does have the puck on his stick. So he enters... The Wait. That's all it was, dude? We got sandwiched? All we did is barely get sandwiched, barely drop to the ice, and Rusty is holding his arm in pain. Maybe it's his left hand. I, I actually have no idea which hand it is. Rusty is down and out and unfortunately is out for the rest of this game. Will he be out for the rest of the season? Historically, no, you're fine going into the next game, but still a tragic loss regardless. And another big injury at the time where we needed Rusty the most. And the final score of this game without Rusty on the ice is 5-2. to two. This very well may be the worst episode of Be A Pro we have ever experienced. We came into this thing at the highest of all highs. We were ready to buzz. We were out here flying. In that first game, we get robbed a couple times. We get rattled. No one can score. No one can play defense. Our tendies letting in some bad shots, and we get bodied. Going into game number two, we come out here with the redemption opportunity. And what happens? Rusty takes the lightest hit of all time, lands on his arm weird, and he's out for the rest of the season. If this isn't a learning lesson, I don't know what is. We've got to know that every single day we hop onto the ice, 
It's a blessing. And today, it was a bit of a curse. Here comes coach. He said, I wanted you to keep the pressure up, coach. I literally broke my arm five minutes into the game. And then Rusty is still concussed. And he said, lead won't last. I don't know what is happening anymore, dude. What an absolute disaster this has been. All right, James has just given us the news. As always, I guess in season one, you just can't get injured. Rusty is going to be okay. That is confirmed. He is all right. He's going to bounce back. But still, I think uh, at this point, we're not worried about Rusty's physical health. We're worried about how this team is going to bounce back mentally. So that is going to do it for this episode. I know this was the worst episode of all time, but not everyone can be a banger. We've got to accept we're going to have some good days. We're going to have some bad days. Today was the worst of the worst. Regardless, I hope you guys did enjoy watching this episode of NHL 21 Be a Pro. We will be back and better than ever going into the next one. We do have to catch some dubs because that Pacific spot is slowly starting to fade away. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you hit it with a like and let me know. Of course, hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 1 million subscribers. I'll see you guys next time and peace.